But anyway, it was just, it was, it was angry. It was an angry one, but. What's up, y'all? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Sharina J. Now, listen, I'm trying to get back on track with this consistency. I'm trying to get y'all two videos out per week. It's just been a lot of stuff going on since the beginning of the year. But that's an excuse. That's really not what we're looking for here. So I'm just looking to get y'all the content that y'all need so that we can grow this channel to what it, to everything that it can be. You know what I mean? We're here for fashion. We're here for lifestyle. We're here for fragrance. I mean, those are the main things that we are here. We're here for travel, <laughs> you know? So before we go any further, go ahead and like the video, just in case you forget by the end. I mean, I'm going to tell you again at the end. <laughs> but go ahead and like the video and hit subscribe and then hit the little notification bell so you can always know when the videos are going up. But let's just hop into it. I am about to do some skincare. I need to pick out an outfit to film a TikTok. It's just been a lot going on. I need to get my life together. I feel like I'm going to the gym tomorrow. I'm either going to the gym or I'm going to do yoga tomorrow. I do yoga at my house. My floor is slippery. I'm going to bust my ass. I do yoga. I do yoga in the house. So either I'm going to do yoga here or I'm going to go to the gym. But I have just been in a really funky place for, it's probably been about two weeks now. I'm going to be making some life changes. I'm going to be making some life changes here soon. So I'm going to take y'all on that journey with me. Um, it may involve a new location. It may involve a new career. It may involve a lot of things. But what it definitely will involve is change because it's just time for some change in my life. And so that's what we are going to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hop into the skincare. I got a, a couple of new products that I'm just going to go ahead and use because listen... I popped a pimple right here and now I got this dark mark so I've been trying to get rid of it. It's getting lighter and lighter because it was darker before. But the girls that get it, get it. You know how the pimples be. Listen. But anyway, it was just, it was, it was angry. It was an angry one. But all right. So I'm still getting my Amazon store up and running. But once I get everything up and running, I'm always going to link everything in my Amazon store um, that can be get you know, bought on Amazon. But as of right now, most of the stuff you can get from Sephora, if not all of it, I feel like you can probably get from Sephora. So there's that. We're gonna start off with the cleansing. I cleanse my face, double cleanse. So I go in with this, uh, what is this? Clean and Clear Morning Burst. I also have a nighttime one that I just use in the shower. This nighttime one, is more of a lavender based smell because these are scented so if you are sensitive really sensitive skinned then i probably wouldn't use it i've been using this forever and i do have sensitive skin but this always has worked for me it's never broken me out or anything like that i love the way it smells especially in the morning i love the way it foams up i like the little bursting bubbles in it like it's just worked for me i've been using this since i was in my 20s like since after neutrogena like I've been using this forever so I swear by it I love it I'm always gonna buy it. it stays in my bathroom so this came in a dual pack so that's why I have the two and I just keep the other one in my shower for shower time um so this is the first cleanser I'm going with which is the clean and clear um and then I just recently got this milk jelly cleanser it's a conditioning face wash this does not sud this is from Glossier it's just like a creamy cleanser and it more leaves your skin feeling conditioned. It's like if you're going to wash your hair and condition your hair, that's kind of what this is. I wash it and then I can condition it, but this is also cleansing. So I really do like this. This is my first bottle of this. So loving it. After I do the cleansing, then I'll tone. My toner of choice is the La Niche toner. I love this. It's called Blue Water Toner, I think it's called, or it's called Water Bank. It's a blue hydro, uh, hyaluronic rejuvenating toner so I was putting this on like cotton balls at first but I don't think you need to I just started putting it on my hand and it's slapping on my face kind of like the uh, the Fenty one that I had before but this is because it's a thicker one it's not it's not like alcohol based or anything like that so I really do like this works really well I like it a lot and then I'll go in with eye cream the eye cream that I have 
I usually use this one I got from TJ Maxx this one was good but then I decided to try this glow recipe guava vitamin C brightening serum and I feel like it's working like I don't know how much it's supposed to work I don't have like a whole lot of fine lines I have a couple like right here or whatever I mean it's usually covered up with concealer or whatever but like I said it's been a very stressful time for the last two weeks <laughs> so it could just be from that but I feel like this works pretty well um this one's almost gone this cost me $5.99 this one cost $38 so <laughs> budget friendly not so budget friendly they both work pretty well I feel like they work the same in my opinion so after I put on the eye serum then I will go in with such a serum I got all three of these from Glossier they were on sale so I just got on all three of them this one is for hydration it is called super pure and it, it has uh, I don't want to say it wrong let's just put it across the screen niacinamide I think is what it's called and zinc serum that's what this one is this one is called Super Bounce, so clearly it's for it to give more bounce and supplements to your skin. It's hyaluronic acid, excuse me, hyaluronic acid and vitamin B serum. And then this last one is called Super Glow. Again, probably to clear up dark spots and things like that. This one has vitamin C and magnesium serum. So I'll choose one at some time during the week. I use them all. I never use them all at one time, but I'll just, sometimes I'll use one in the day and one in the night. Just depends on how I'm feeling. After I put the serum on, I will go in with the oil. This oil, again, I got it from TJ Maxx. It is a Manuka honey oil. I don't use a lot of it. Some people take this and they squirt it on the hand and rub it all over their face. I have naturally oily skin. We're not about to do all that. <laughs> so I will literally just take a drop here, a drop there, and that's enough for my entire face. That's why I have so much left. I've had this bottle for almost a year. And I have so much left because I barely use any of it when I use it because... I'm already oily and then last but not least that's not even last but we're going to do it this seems like a lot of stuff to put on your face but it really takes me only like 15 minutes to do the whole thing so um I do the Laneige water sleeping mask I like this one um I had this one this one's pretty much gone this is the Laneige I like Laneige you can see Laneige is my go-to it's the radiance C cream and it has vitamin C in it. I really, really liked this one. This was thicker and creamier. And it had a, a more subtle, like, beauty product smell to it. This doesn't have a smell at all, I don't feel like. Let me see. I mean, it just smells like an unscented lotion almost. It, neither one of these have a strong smell. They're both for sensitive skin. I like this one more, but this one, as you can tell, costs more for less. <laughs> I think this was like $38 and you get 70 milliliters. This one was like, I feel like $50 and it was considerably less. If this was 70 milliliters, 2.3 fluid ounces, I would say this was one ounce. It wasn't that much. But this is for your entire face and I feel like this is just an eye cream. Or is it? No, this is a full face cream. But clearly I liked this one better so I would be willing to pay the extra but I like this one too it's it's good um once it soaks in it soaks in <laughs> when you first put it on you you look glowy and wet <laughs> but give it about 15 minutes you'll look dry it's fine I almost forgot I do go in with a mist either in the daytime or the nighttime one of the two at nighttime when I'm putting on my retinol I do this uh, Bite All Beauty Resurfacing Facial Mist. It's a retinol and rose oil mist. Just mist it on after I have everything else on. And in the daytime, I use this rose water mist by Alicia Keys. I'm gonna hop into it, get into my skincare. Alright y'all, I am out the shower, face is done, 
at night, you really all I put on is that Ordinary Retinoid Cream, the toner, and the eye cream. And then I spray my face. That's literally what has this looking so damp and dewy. But yes, <laughs> but that's how it's going to stay until it dries. So we're about to moisturize. I have this Blueberry and Myrrh Body Cream. Is it a body cream? Body butter. And baby, when they say butter, they mean butter. This one is by Ancient Cosmetics. This one is a black-owned company. But um, the smell is just... The smell is everything. Imagine, like, blueberries with, like, a very light hint of mint, but like a blueberry muffin. Baby. <laughs> so we just gonna get into this real quick. And let me show y'all how thick this is. Like, this is thick, so, um, how you're supposed to put it on, I believe. Is there hair in here? Mine, because I'm the only one that's used it. It was locked up tight. Of course, you want to just rub it in until it pretty much looks like this. And then, of course, smother it all on. And it's going to leave you looking shiny, because the oils, they come out, so... Today is just a super moisturizing day. I don't use this body butter every day because it takes a long time to soak in. Um, if in the summertime, I probably would use it more just because it leaves a nice shine and glisten um, to the body. And I usually just either put it on at night or like if I'm going out, out and I need that like body shine. You know what I mean? But yeah, so I'm gonna put that on and then I gotta get the rest of me. <laughs> Give me a second. Oh. Whew. Now we nice and oily. Oh, I'm about to take this off and I'm about to also grease my scalp. It is just a day of days. And now I feel like I'm like got extra like moisture on my face. So I'm about to get a paper towel, but uh, I don't like to glaze on like that. Oh, the fragrance of the night is this Easy Miyake, you might not even recognize a bottle like this. The girls that get it, get it. The ones that don't, I'll put the top on <laughs> so that you know what this looks like. But this Blueberry and Myrrh is a very unique scent. And so I feel like it would go very well with the Easy Miyake. The Easy Miyake is a true oriental uh, fragrance. So if you don't know what that is, go ahead, Google sis. <laughs> I'm getting tired. Because this is a bedtime routine. I took a melatonin. Get all your um, pulse points back. And then also get the back of your neck like right here. Oh yeah. Right in the nape. Oh. But yeah, your girl took a melatonin just to get a more restful night's sleep. Oh, 10 milligrams. I only took one. Because I don't normally take melatonin. But I've been, again, as we spoke of earlier in this video, it's been a long couple of weeks. But um... One second, I'm actually just going to get a paper towel. I don't want to take everything off, I just want to kind of blot just to get the excess because it was like okay, yeah, doing a lot. <laughs> oh, that's much better. <sighs> okay, and is it just me or does everybody overheat right after a hot shower? Is it okay? This is also from Glossier, but there's a couple of products that I will only get from certain places. That face stuff from earlier, I am trying it for the first time. Let me get y'all a little closer so y'all can be a little, a little bit more intimate, you know what I mean? The face stuff from earlier, and let me get my grease so I can talk to y'all while I do this, and that way I can go to bed after because your girl is getting tired. <clears throat> This is what I use to just condition my scalp. I do not use this every day. Um, I don't want build up, but I use this probably once a week, maybe once every two weeks, just depending on how my hair is feeling. This is mango and lime cactus grow. So I swear by it. You get it from your local beauty supply store. You can get it from Amazon. I'm sure mango and lime probably has their own website, but yeah, I just get it from the local beauty supply store. It's like $5.99 or maybe I feel like this is more than that. I almost feel like this was like $12.99 for real, but you get a decent amount. I've had it for like a month. 
so yeah but um yeah i was talking about the products that i get from glossier that i repeat by when i have empties that face stuff i don't know if i'll repeat by it because i get some from tj maxx and i feel like the ones i get from tj maxx which were cheaper do just fine um it has to do something more way more magical for me to pay like four times as much so and i'm not seeing the magic but maybe by the end of the bottles i will and lucky me or you know the universe just knows what i need when i need it when i ordered the glossier somebody stole my package off my porch it's the only package that i've ever had stolen off of my porch nobody's ever stolen a package from me before but my glossier package either got stolen or the mailman might have took it to the wrong apartment because my apartment complex can be confusing the DoorDash people get lost all the damn time so i'm not gonna put it past the mailman to have gotten lost you know what i mean but anyway my package never arrived so glossier was amazing as soon as i contacted them they were like you know give it maybe 24 hours you know um maybe the mailman said he delivered it but they didn't deliver it because it was coming um us um ps so united states postal it never came i filed a claim with the post office just so i could give them that id they didn't say i needed to i just felt like that was an extra step i needed to take because damn post office like get your shit together <sighs> anyway they sent me out another package um when it didn't come within 24 hours they just shipped me out a whole nother package i was like yay okay thank you so i'm looking for this one now because i want to make sure that as soon as they put deliver because they said they delivered it, but I didn't get the email because I was at work until like an hour later. And by the time I actually got here, because I was working in the office that day, my package was gone. Or never delivered, one of the two. <laughs> but um, I was home the day they delivered the second one. As soon as they hit deliver, I went out there and snatched my package out. Another day later, I got another package. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, that was weird. And then another day later, I got another package. So I had three times the order that I was supposed to get. So I gave actually one of it to my roommate so she could try out the products, see if she liked them. And then I just kept another one for when that one's gone, I'll just buy one. I mean, I'll have another package because what else I'm supposed to do with it? <laughs> like it came to me. I don't even know what to do. I filed the report. And everything so glossier is going to be reimbursed with their insurance or whatever so i work in insurance i know how that works but yeah so that's that but the packages i don't i, I don't i was just when they kept i was like i hope i don't get another one because if i got another one i would have definitely called somebody like something ain't right y'all just keep sending me the same stuff over and over again but i digress the facial stuff once i'm done with it and the extra one that i got um that's probably almost like a six month supply if i see some kind of change in radiance and glow <laughs> with my skin then i will you know consider reordering it but as of right now i'm just like the tj maxx won't work for me <laughs> but um but yeah so the things that i get from glossier that are definite repeat buyers are the perfume so the glossier you it's like my signature scent it's my fallback one when i have to go somewhere professional when i have to go in the office when I want to smell good without being overly offensive, doctor's appointments, things like that. Because I still smell like a snack. But like a sophisticated, you know, like PhD having snack, you know. <laughs> it's very much a skin scent. Um, I pair it with this lotion that I have called Spa Fusion. I'm super upset because I've been looking to replenish them down to my last bottle. Last time I bought it, I bought six bottles. I did give out a couple of bottles. But the last time I bought it, I bought six bottles. And I think I'm down to my last. I might have one more under the sink. I'll have to check. But um, it smells so good when you pair these two things together. It's the Spa Fusion Original with the Glossier U. Like, I've never not gotten a compliment anytime I wear it. I haven't gotten a compliment from Uber drivers, co-workers, doctors, um, grocery store attendants. Like, it doesn't matter. Anytime I wear it, I always get a compliment. So... Glossier, you will forever be that girl for me. Um, and then this lip balm. And they just recently redid the bottles. It used to just be straight across, um, and you would have to put it on with your fingers. 
but they redid it so that you, I'm, I'm assuming because COVID, <laughs> so that you could just put it on like this. Um, but this one is the, it's called bomb.com. It comes in like 10 or 15 flavors. It doesn't taste like nothing, in my opinion. It smells and you can kind of taste from the smell, but it's not like super sweet or sticky or anything like that. It's very um, moisturizing. I put it on at night. I use it in the daytime. I use it over lipstick. Like it's my go-to and some of them have different colors they have a cherry one that's like a red tint so it just depends on which one you get as to what the tint and everything's gonna be I have birthday cake which has some sparkles in it this one is um the mango and this is the color of it of the liquid inside so you can see like a pale pink um and then they have a coconut one that's like one of my favorite ones and that smells so delectable um but it's clear but those are really the three or the four i also have a cherry one that's my first time and probably last time buying it it's okay but hmm, it's not it tints red and then on top of that it stains so if you have on something white you're gonna get it stained i don't like st the stuff that's gonna stain stuff and then i have a chocolate one same reason um it's uh called hot chocolate or something like that it's a brownish color and again same thing it tints brown but it also stains so i'm not for things that stain so it is what it is i probably won't ever buy those two again but the mango the coconut and the the birthday cake i probably would buy again but yeah and then what are some other things that i will always rebuy there's a couple of things like i would always repurchase Oh, y'all, this melatonin is kicking in. Have y'all ever took a melatonin and felt it kicking in? Like, I feel myself, like, if I laid down right now, it's over for you, bitches. <laughs> Remy, I'm the bitches. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's it. I don't got nothing left in me. Um, but, yeah, I'm just going to finish this last section of my hair. And then I'm going to my ass to bed. I appreciate y'all for joining me for my nighttime routine and just sitting here with your girl and talking through it. Like I was saying before, make sure you follow me, like, follow, subscribe if you haven't already. Because I told you earlier, but sometimes y'all don't listen or sometimes you miss it, you know? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say you missed it. Go ahead and hit like, go ahead and hit subscribe and make sure you hit the little dingy dingy bell so that way you know when you're gonna pop up into your life. <laughs> Also, make sure you follow me on all my social medias. And for TikTok, that is I underscore am underscore Sharina J. On Instagram, I am. It is just double delicious. And it's spelled D-D-L-Y-S-H-U-S. -S. So yeah, make sure you follow me on everything. And make sure you come back and tune in for the next vlog. Next time, we're gonna have to hop back into the fashion and lifestyle. But right now, I'm signing off. Peace.